Hello and welcome to this demo on Query Surge and Power BI. In this demo, I will show you how you can query data directly out of a Power BI visualization to compare against other BI reports or backend data stores with Query Surge. The first thing I'm going to do in Query Surge is log in just using my admin account right here. On the left hand side, I'm going to select Query Pairs. I'm going to select my demo folder, and this is where I'm going to create my new query pair. To create a query pair, I just click the Create New Query Pair button located in the top nav. We need to provide a unique name for our query pair, and for this case, I'm just going to call it Power BI. I'll click Save here. We now have our query pair where we can start to create our tests against our Power BI visualizations. I'll need to select a connection from our drop down here. And what you'll notice is I already have a connection for Power BI set up in this instance. If you've not set up a Power BI connection before, please see our video found in the description of this video on how to set up a Power BI connection. I'm going to select Save. And I'm also going to select Power BI for our target side as well. And this is just to make this test a little bit easier to write. We're going to need four pieces of information from our Power BI instance in order to query data out of it. The first thing that we need is our group ID. And a group ID is just a unique identifier for the workspace inside of Power BI that contains our report. So jumping over to Power BI right here, you can see that I have multiple workspaces available to my particular user. The workspace that contains the report I want to test is located in the Query Search Demo workspace. So I'm going to select that. And what you'll notice in the URL is we have this unique identifier right here. This identifier identifies this particular workspace. And this is very important as we may have reports with the same name in different workspaces. So we need to identify where we want to test in. All I need to do is copy this ID out and I'm going to hold it temporarily in Query Surge. So I'm going to make a little comment here for group ID and paste that particular value like so. Now that we have our group ID, we need to get the ID of the report that contains the visualization we want to test. To do that is just as easy as how we got our group ID. All I need to do is go into Power BI and open the particular report that I want to test. In this case, it's my sales and marketing sample right here. I click on that report, and what you'll notice is we now have another identifier that has been added to our URL. This identifier is our report ID. We're going to copy that out, and again, we're going to just add this here temporarily. I'm going to call this report ID. Now that we have our report ID, we do need a few more pieces of information to narrow down exactly what query search should extract. In Power BI, you'll notice that we have multiple pages on the left-hand side. And each one of these pages contain different visualizations that we may want to extract data from. What we need to grab is our page name. We can do that by manually copying the page name out. Or if you click the Edit button on the bottom nav, you can right-click, Rename Page, and just copy out the page name that you want to extract data from. In this case, the page that I want to extract data from is called market share. And all I'm going to do is go back into query search. And again, I'm going to call this page name, just drop that particular value into query search for documentation purposes. The last thing that we need to extract out of Power BI is going to be the visualization that we want to take data from. To do that, all we need to do is go back into Power BI. In this case, I want to extract out this particular bar chart here called total category volume by segment. And what I do is I click on that particular bar chart, select format, and find our visualizations title. I'm just going to copy that title out and put that into query search as well. We now have all of the information that we need in order to pull data out of Power BI in order to test it against other reports or backend systems. We'll now have to start to create our query pair, which is going to be SQL that will actually extract data out of Power BI. 
The query structure that we can use is very straightforward. All we're going to do is write a simple select statement. And we're going to use a special function that we've created just for query search called power bi report. And what this will do is allow us to take the information that we've extracted out of power bi and use that essentially as a table. This means we can write complex SQL such as joins between different visualizations, aggregations, and filters all inside of query search. The format is very straightforward. What we're going to do is we're going to take our group ID and we're going to put it in the first parameter field. We're going to take our report ID and place it in the second. We're going to take our page name and place it in the third. And finally, we're going to take our visualizations title and place it in the fourth field. You'll notice all of these fields are surrounded by quotes. And this is because they are treated as string values. Once we have all this information inputted, all we need to do is click the Save button right here. We now have a query that will actually pull data out of the visualization in Power BI to be able to compare against other data sources. For ease of use, I'm just going to take the exact same query and put it in our target side. And this should match 100% just to show you how the extraction process works. To kick off this test manually, I'm going to click the Design Time Run button right here. And I'll select the Run option. And this will send it off to one of our available agents. The amount of time it takes for your run to execute will depend upon a few different factors. This will include if your agents are currently busy with other tasks or items, or if the Power BI server that you're communicating with is busy as well. Additionally, it's important to note that if you are pulling data from a very complex visualization, it may take some time for that item to process through. What you can see now is I'm getting real-time status updates. Our source and our target queries are running. So these are actually running Power BI reports and pulling out that visualization data. And once they complete, we'll go into our analysis mode. This should be very quick as we only have a handful of records in this particular visualization. So we'll just let this run for a few minutes and see the results once it completes. Okay, and as you can see here, as expected, we have now extracted data out of Power BI and we are passing our results as we're testing the visualization to itself. What we can see here is we got eight rows from our source and our target. And if we click on view query results right here, we can actually see the data that came back from Power BI. And we can compare this to what we see in the visualization itself. We have two columns here. One is total category volume, and the other is segment. And if we put Power BI in side-by-side -side mode, I'll shrink these side navs over so we can get a little bit easier view. If I hover over any of these fields, we can see that the data that Query Search has exactly matches what we see in Power BI. In this case, we had 14,680 total volume, and we have the same over here. For convenience, we have 9,262, and that's what we see across the board. It's important to note the data that comes back into Query Surge does not have a type, so they all are treated as strings. But if you needed to do things like aggregation or any type of manipulation, you can do that in your query with simple casting. And that wraps up our high-level demo on how to query visualization data from Power BI with Query Surge. If you have any questions, feel free to head over to the Query Surge website. We have a great knowledge base as well as a fantastic support team. We'd be happy to answer any questions you may have. Thanks.